Please welcome Will I Am and the head of America's Space Agency, NASA Administrator Charles Bolden. Everybody knows about the great work that NASA does in space. They take us on a journey to Mars and even farther out into the solar system and beyond. But Charlie and I are here to tell you about some things that NASA does that you guys probably don't know about, and you'll be surprised to know what they do. NASA shows us how the Earth is actually changing. That's right, Will. Learning how to live in space is only one of NASA's missions. As a former shuttle astronaut, I flew, out of our, flew out outside of our planet four times. Living in space is going to be part of our future, but living on this planet, humanity's home is critical. An important part of NASA is from day one has been using space to better understand Earth. We want to know how our planet works and how we affect it and how it might change in the future. Right now, NASA has 20 spacecraft zipping around the planet gathering amazing science data. They can see carbon dioxide in the air, water reserves below the ground, the heat of our planet is absorbing, and the inside of hurricanes, they're doing amazing stuff. This is the first time in human history that we can really see and hope to understand how a planet lives and breathes. It's a tall order, but NASA's on it. With this knowledge, we're able to tackle one of the biggest challenges facing everyone on Earth today, climate change. Because we have these incredible tools in space, we can now see the changes across the whole planet. We can see the facts. We have seen the steady shrinking of the Arctic sea ice, and we've measured how much water the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica has lost to the ocean. We've seen sea levels rise around the world, and we've seen how climate change can affect human health through urban heat waves and the spread of diseases like malaria. On the plus side, we've seen the ozone hole gradually getting better, a great success story where science drove global action that's helping our planet. But the real payoff of collecting all this environmental information from space year after year is that it helps us better understand how Earth works. And as scientists figure that, figure that out, we can begin to see what the future holds and how our action can influence that future. Like what could happen if CO2 in the atmosphere continues to increase? New NASA research found that mega droughts could become more likely by the end of this century in the western U.S. Now, we don't have all the answers yet, but we're making progress. We're steadily increasing the known and decreasing the unknown about how Earth is changing. Knowledge is a powerful tool, and with it, we can all be better stewards of our home planet. This is Earth Day. NASA is inviting all of you to become Earth observers. We are finally all getting a ride to space, right? Because I want to be the first guy up there. I'm not in your dreams, Will. No, what we want everyone to do is stop for a moment on April 22nd and share their photos and videos of their favorite places they've been. We'll be posting NASA's best shots from space to send the message that there really is no place at all like our home planet Earth. Seems like I've heard that's somewhere else before. It's never been more true. We all love this planet, so let's be more observant of it. Let's learn more about it. And NASA will keep circling the globe to help us protect it and work toward a brighter future.